Hi friends, welcome to Ten Percent series. In this video, we're going to talk about how to submount a Flask application under a URL prefix. All right, let's see the use cases. Why do we need to submount a Flask application under a URL prefix? After all, you know there can be reasons like you want to place your Flask application behind a reverse proxy like nginx, and your application will run after a URL segment. Something like if your app is like something like app one, so all your URL routes should start after app one. So something like app one slash home, app one slash about, app one slash help, etc. Or else you have multiple instances of Flask applications, and you want to combine all those instances and place each application under a URL prefix. So how can I do that? In Flask, there is a very useful class called Dispatcher Middleware. And we're going to use it to perform a simple submounting of a Flask application under a URL prefix. So let's get started with coding. I'm going to create a new file and I'll just name it server.py. All right, let's start with a basic Flask server. This is a very simple Flask server and it runs at localhost port 5000 and it has three routes. One is for the home page, which says hello world, and there is a help page, which just prints out this is the help page, and there's an about page, which just prints out this is the about page. So let's try to run this server. And then I'm going to type in localhost 500 in my browser. And if I just go to the page, you can see hello world because it's the default route. And if I go to the help page, you can see the help page. And if I go to the about page, you can see the about page. So that's it. Great. But if I want to host this application after the URL segment called app one. So suppose if I have a URL segment log app one, and if I go here, I should get home page. And if I go app one slash help, I should get the home help page. And if I go to app one slash about, I should get the about page. So that means all my application is submounted under the URL prefix called app one. You know, there's a very crude way to do that. You can just hard code and write app one here and it will work, but that's not an idiomatic way. So how can you do that? This is where the dispatcher middleware comes in. So let's try to import the dispatcher middleware here. You can import it from the workzoo middleware dispatcher module. So dispatcher middleware is something like a reverse proxy which acts as a gateway for applications and it serves the applications based upon the URL prefix. So let's try to do that now. So let's try to create a gateway Flask application. So I'll just name it as hosted app and it's also a Flask application, right? So I'll just write Flask of name and then I'll write hosted app dot WSGI underscore app equal to dispatcher middleware of for now I'll write app and then I'm going to give a dictionary where I'm going to say that I, have, I need a prefix called slash app one and if you have a prefix called slash app one you just dispatch the app called app and that's it that's how you use the dispatcher middleware there are two main parameters that you are giving as an input to the dispatcher middleware the first parameter is the default application that means if you don't have any of your prefixes met then the request will be routed to this default app but if the prefix is met that means if the url start with slash app one then the request will be dispatched to this app but you know if the row doesn't matches any of the url prefixes you might want to give a not found error or 404 not found error so how can i do that further you can import the words with exceptions not found and instead of specifying an application here just write not found and then if none of the url prefix is met you will get a not found error and instead of running the main application which is the app just run the hosted app which is the gateway application now so now i am not running the application i am running a hosted application which is a gateway application and I'm telling that if the URL prefix matches app one, then serve the request from app. So let's try to save this and let's try to reload this application. And you can see slash app one slash about is giving you the about page. And if you go slash app one, it will be the home page. And if you go to the slash app one slash help, it's going to be the help page. All right. That's how you can use the dispatcher middleware. And in a single line, you can actually submount your application behind a url prefix and if you just go to the home page since i've given not found you'll get the not found error but instead of not found if i give the app and just save it and if i just go to localhost 1500 since url prefix is not met the default application is the app and the request is being served with the app and since it's the home page you're getting the home page and if i get the help you'll get the help page and if you go to the app one slash help even then you'll get the help page because app one is being also catered to the application called app all right let's try to revert this back again not found all right let's try to cover another aspect combining multiple flask applications into one application that's pretty simple 
let's try to copy this application altogether copy and pasting it here because I don't have another flask application I'm just duplicating this flask application to get another application let's try to name it as index1 because I don't need to have the same functions and that's it I want another flask application called app2 and it also serves three pages let's try to change the content a little bit hello world 2 this is the help page 2 this is the about page 2 now I got the application app2 but I'm not serving it so if you want to serve this application called app2 behind this gateway application called hosted app I can just give another prefix called app2 and I'm specifying the app that should be dispatched is app2 and that's it now you are able to dispatch two different flask applications under two URL prefixes using this gateway application which is created by the dispatch and middleware let's try to save this and let's try to check what happens okay looks like I got an error here route 2 yeah I don't have route 2 I need route this is about let's try to save this and let's try to run this server again and let's try to run this local fifty hundred slash app 2 and you got hello world 2 and help this is our help page 2 and if you go to app 1 help you got the app 1's help page that means I'm combining multiple flask application instances and placing them behind a single gateway application and mounting each flask application under a URL prefix alright that's it guys that's how you submount your flask application under a URL prefix using the dispatcher middleware class you can see I've created a blog post on how to create submounting in flask using dispatcher middleware I have also given you the sample code so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer. So be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. If you don't know how to use Flask in Python to create web servers, I've already made a playlist on that and I'll leave the link of the playlist in the description. Feel free to ask any questions or give your valuable feedback in the comment section. Hope you like this video guys. Thank you for watching. Peace.